Good day Grade 11s, welcome to Lesson 2 in Week 26. In this lesson we're going to be looking at trigonometry. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the sign rule that you learnt in the previous lesson. So let's go through it. The first question says find the length of AC. So we've been given a triangle ABC where we've got the length of AB 6.5, the length of BC is 13.8 and we have the size of angle C and we want little b. So we don't know if this is a right angle triangle at all. So we cannot use our Sokotoa, so we have to use what we've got so far, which is the sine rule. So the sine rule either says that sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, which equals sine C over C, or we can flip it and get A over sine A is equal to B over sine B which equals C over sine C. Now, grade 11's in this example, we want the length of a side. So because we want the length of the side, I would suggest that we use this lot of equations here, the bottom lot, because then you have the thing that you're solving for at the top already. It's no big deal if you use the top one, it's just easier to solve if you use this one. Right, so let's see what we got given. First of all, we know that the side opposite the angle is always given by the little letter. So this would be little letter C, this would be little letter A, and as they've written here, this is little letter B. So what have we got? We have got the length of C, it is 6.5. We've got angle C, which is 27. Okay, we have got the length of A, and that is all we've got at the moment. So we want the length of B, but we don't have this angle and we don't have that angle. So in fact, what I'm going to have to do is, even though I want this length, in order to get that length, I need at least one other angle. So I'm actually gonna try and work out angle A. So even though I said we need to be using this, since I've now realized that actually we need to go for an angle first so we can find B, I'm going to use this lot of equations. I'm going to use sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. So I'm going to go sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. And let me explain my logic. If I get this angle, then by the sum of angles in a triangle, I can get that angle. And then using basic sine rule, I can then get B. So let's do that. So we've got sine A over 13.8 is equal to sine of 27 degrees over 6.5. Therefore, sine A is equal to 13.8 sine 27 all over 6.5 degrees, 6.5. So let's get out our calculator and we're going to do that. So we go, first of all, we're going to go shift sign because we want A actually, bracket, then we're going to go 13.8 times sine 27 divided by 6.5 close bracket equals and we get 74.55 74.55 so a is equal to 74.55 degrees so this angle here is equal to 74.55 degrees okay now we want to get b how are we going to get b well we can get b by subtracting that that angle A and C from 180 degrees. So angle B is equal to 180 minus 74.55 minus 27. So we get out our calculator again and we move it over so we can see what we're doing and we go 180 minus 74.55 minus 27 and we end up with 78. 
78.45 degrees. So this angle here is 78.45 degrees, and let me write it over here, 78.45 degrees. And now you can see, I'm going to change color again, that we can now use this and that together to get, actually we can use that and that to get the length of side B because we've got the angle of sine B, we've got C, we've got sine C and we can use get little b. Actually we could also use these two, it makes no difference which one we use. We could use either A over sine A equals B over sine B or we could use B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. So let's do the first one that I mentioned. So we're going to say B, which is the side we want, over sine of 78.45 is equal to C, which is 6.5 over sine of 27 degrees. Therefore, B is going to be 6.5 times by sine 78.45 all over sine 27. So we're going to get out our calculator again and we're going to go 6. 0.5 times sine of 78.45 and I'm going to make it equals divided by sine of 27 equals and it comes to 14.03 so therefore B is equal to 14.03 let me just write it here as well 14.03 so there you go, grade 11s. That's one way that you can use the sine rule. Let's look at another example. An observer is standing on a suspension bridge at point P. So he's at point P. He wishes to measure the height of the bridge above the ground level of QRS. So this is the ground. Okay. He measures the angle of depression to two beacons Q and S. These beacons are 800 meters apart. So the distance from year to year is 800 meters. The angle to two angle Q, the angle of depression is 75 degrees. Now remember last year you learned that the angle of depression is the angle down from the horizons. The angle that he looks down from the horizon to angle Q is 75 degrees and the angle to S is 8 degrees. Right, and it says how high is his suspension bridge above the ground? So they want to know what H is. So we want to get H. This is what we want. So let's, okay, now let's leave that in green. So this is what we want. We want H. Okay, so now there are a couple of things that we can do. The first thing that we can do is realize that we can get these angles into my triangle. And the way we do this is to realize that the horizon is parallel with the ground. Therefore, we've got this beautiful alternate angle happening here. So therefore, this angle here is 75 degrees. And similarly, over here, we've got a beautiful alternate angle happening because the horizon is parallel to the ground and therefore we've got this to be 8 degrees. Right, so do you agree now that we've got 75, 8 and from that we could get the whole of this angle, okay? So we've got 180 minus 75 degrees minus 8 degrees is going to give me P, well actually Q, P, S to be specific. So then, if we get our calculator out, we can say that that is 180 minus 75 minus 8 equals 97 degrees. So this angle here is 97 degrees. Okay, so there are no right angle triangles in the big one, but there is a little right angle triangle here. So we want H. We want H. So to get H, we either need to get this side here, because then we've got a right angle triangle we can use Sokotoa, or we want to get this side here, because then we've got a right angle triangle and we can use Sokotoa. So this triangle here, the big one, let me draw it in red, the big one is not a right angle triangle. 
but we do have all three angles and one side. So I'm pretty sure we can work out another side. So what side should we go for? Shall we go for QP? PQ. Let's go for that side there. Okay. So we are going to use the sine rule. So we are going to say that if this is S, then this is going to be little s. Okay. Now if that is P, that's going to be little p, just to make it easier for ourselves. Then do you agree that we've got P over sine P is going to be equal to S over sine S. Remember that S here is our PQ. We're letting PQ equal S, just to make it easier for ourselves because it's opposite angle S. Okay, so therefore P we know is 800 meters, 800 meters. Sine P is sine of 97 degrees, is equal to S over sine of S, which is 8 degrees, sine of 8 degrees. Therefore, just rearranging to get my S on the left hand side, we've got 800 sine 8 all over sine of 97. So let's pop that in our calculator. So we've got 800 times sine of 8 divided by sine of 97 and you get 112.17. So S equals 112.17 meters. Grade 11s, if you're doing this with me and using your calculator and you're not getting the same numbers, make sure your calculator is on degrees and not on radians because it's a different type of number system. So you won't get the same answer if you're putting this in and your calculator is in radians. There needs to be a little D on the top, not a rad. If you've got rad, it means you're in radians. Right, but now we've got this. Do you agree we've got this, which is 112.17? But now things are very cool because now we can go back to the basics that we know. Yeah, we've got this beautiful right angle triangle. So we have, and at this point, actually, you can either choose to use a sign rule or you can use Sakatoa. Um, I tend to go back to using soccer toes as I would a right angle triangle, but you can, if you're more confident and comfortable with the sine rule, use the sine rule. So I'm going to use soccer toe. I've got the hypotenuse. I've got the angle of 75 degrees, and I've got want the height. So let's just write soccer toe up here. Soccer toe. So I've got the hypotenuse. Okay. I've got the 75 degrees and I want this height which is the opposite to the 75 degrees, so it's the opposite. So I'm going to use sine. So I'm going to say sine of 75 degrees is equal to the H over the hypotenuse of 112.17. Therefore H is going to be 112.17 times by sine of 75 degrees. So again we get out our calculator and we go 112.17 times sine of 75 equals and H is 108.35. So H equals 108.35 meters. So this guy is 108.35 meters above the ground. And that's it, grade 11s. That's how you get to use the sign rule. Please go do lots of examples and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.